hello children in this chapter in the second part of video we will learn about computing ethics already we have covered introduction to internet advantages and disadvantages of internet so let us see what is computing ethics and unethical practices computing ethics ethics is a set of moral principles that governs the behavior of a group or an individual similarly computing ethic is a set of procedures moral principles and ethical practices that regulates the use of computer it focuses on ethical implementation and use of computing resources and include new issues that are raised by new technologies it basically aims at encouraging it users to be responsible in order to utilize the technology tools judiciously respect views of others and acknowledge the right and rights and properties of people on the internet ethical guidelines some of the common ethical guidelines which should be followed while using the computer do not use computer technology to cause disruption or interference in other users work do not spy on other person's computer data do not use computer technology to steal information avoid buying pirated software pay for software unless it is free be respectful and courteous with the fellow member while communicating on the internet unethical practices so let us see what are the unethical practices so first is plagiarism cyberbullying phishing hacking spamming individual right to privacy privacy software piracy intellectual property rights so let us see one by one what are these unethical practices first we'll take plagiarism plagiarism is the usage of imitation of the language and thoughts of other another person's projected as one's own original work it is considered a crime or fraudulent act the murderum webster dictionary describe plagiarism as follows to steal or pass off idea or word of another as one's own to use another's production without crediting the source to commit literally theft to present as new and original an idea or product derived from an existing source now steps to prevent plagiarism the simplest way to prevent plagiarism is citation acknowledging the original writer and the source from the material has been taken is called citation it includes the following steps to avoid plagiarism one can rephrase the material use quotation marks around all the quoted words of another persons to avoid plagiarism in the education sector students should be encouraged to present their original and innovative ideas even they wish to refer to the source they should be made aware of the pattern of references in this manner plagiarism can be avoided and students could be motivated to work hard and bring their 
originality cyber bullying so another unethical practice is cyber bullying it is an act of harming harassing or targeting a person by another person using internet in a deliberate manner it includes inserting remark and threatening messages sent by email spreading rumors about the person either by email or social networking sites posting embarrassing photos and videos to hurt the person degradatory remarks against gender race religion and nationality steps to prevent cyberbullying do not disclose your identity to unknown persons safeguard your password and all private information from inquisitive peers do not give bullies any opportunity to misuse the information on the social media platform search the whereabouts of the person you meet online and know about him fully before extending your hand shake restrict your online profile to be checked by the trusted friends only if you are cyber bullied by someone do not remain silent but take action against cyber bullying do not be repulsive in your language rather block the communication with the cyber bully and share this problem with your parents thank you children now i am stopping my chapter here only